Now, here's a large vein, the vena cava. You know it's a vein because look at the image on the left-hand side. It's got a large lumen, but the wall's cl collapsed. Look at the thickness of the wall relative to the lumen. Totally different to what you see in a large artery. Now look very carefully on the right hand side because this is a section through the wall of the vena cava. The tunica media shown here is very thin. The tunica adventitia has smooth muscle in it running longitudinal along the length of the vena cava. That's an unusual situation. You don't have smooth muscle in blood vessels in the tunica adventitia, but here you've got it in the vena cava. And the reason for that is because the vena cava are so important returning blood to the heart, to the right side of the heart. And that smooth muscle in the tunica adventitia helps the blood vessel, helps the vena cava elongate or shorten depending on the postural position of the individual because the vena cavas lie up against the posterior wall of the body. So that's a very important feature of the vena cava to have the ability to elongate and shorten when we bend or change our posture. It's a characteristic feature of the vena cava. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.